Hi there, my name's Phil Higgins and this is the Ventures Onsite Middle East Construction News Update for the third week of September 2022. Well, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe so we can keep you up to date with the latest construction news for the region and all future developments here at Ventures Onsite. Well, in Saudi Arabia, three projects have been announced in the iron and steel sector with a combined value of 9.3 billion US dollars and a production capacity of 6.2 million tonnes. One of the projects is an integrated iron sheet production facility focusing on shipbuilding, oil pipes and platforms, as well as enormous oil reserves. A second is being negotiated with international investors for the development of an integrated iron surface production complex to serve the sectors of automotive, food packaging, household appliances and water transportation pipes. The third factory will be established to produce circular iron blocks for the oil and gas industry's unwelded iron pipes. Also in the steel industry, CR Gulf Special Steel, a joint venture between Saudi industrial investments company Dussur and Korean group CR Changwon Integrated Special Steel Corporation, said it has signed an industrial lands allocation agreement with King Salman Energy City, Spark, to set up its new steel pipe factory with a production capacity of 20,000 tonnes per year in Demam at an investment of more than $266.3 million. CR Gulf Special Steel also awarded an engineering procurement and construction contract worth $69 million to local Sendan International Company for the factory. Dubai Electricity and Water Authority Diwa has invited interested developer and developer consortiums to submit their expressions of interest by no later than the 10th of October 2022 to build and operate a new solar photovoltaic power project with an aggregate capacity of 900 megawatts. The project will be developed as an independent power project and will be located within the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park the project is scheduled to be commissioned in phases starting Q3 2025. Sharjah-based metals construction company Trend Industries announced plans to invest $6.8 million for the construction of a new production facility in Al Hamaria Free Zone. The proposed expansion will scale up the company's production capacity from 3,600 to 8,400 tonnes per year. Oman's Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports has floated an international tender to design and build the Oman Cultural Complex, a complex which was earlier placed on hold. The centre, with a built-up area of approximately 73,000 square metres, aims to be a national cultural centre in Muscat. As per the tender notice, the complex will include a 1,000-seat auditorium, a 250-seat flexible auditorium, a 20,000 square meter, five-story national library, and the national archives will include nearly 20 kilometers of archival shelf displays. In Egypt, El Swedi Electric for Trading and Distribution, a subsidiary of El Swedi Electric, has signed three contracts worth $114 million to establish transformer stations in the South Valley Development Project, which aims to reclaim 375,000 Fedan in the Toshka area. The contracts are scheduled to be implemented within a 12-month period from the date from signing of the contract. There has been some major industrial projects announced in Egypt in the past few days, including Dabur Egypt to open the first phase of a new 50,000 square meter factory in Q1 2023, Summit Omo Egypt to build its biggest wiring harness plant with an investment of about $100 million. The French industrial group Saint Gobain is planning to build two new manufacturing plants for flat glass and gypsum and sustainable building materials over the next three years. China's Tianyi Chemicals is planning to establish a bromide recovery plant in Egypt's Suez Canal Economic Zone and Egypt's Information Technologies Industry Development Agency and the Chinese electronics manufacturer Oppo signed an MOU to build a mobile phone manufacturing plant in Egypt with around $20 million in investment. Well, that's the news for this week. 
Like always, we hope this news update helps you stay informed so you stay competitive. My name's Phil Higgins and this is Ventures On Site Live.